painter, an art teacher, um, an art therapist as well. I like to teach them about color and composition. What I try to do is stress the importance of um, connecting with your environment, connecting with other people, and sharing your experience with others. I find that the art classroom is, is the perfect laboratory for doing that. My philosophy in teaching is to take risks in a safe place with your peers around you, um, with some guidance and support and appropriate materials. And I have to say, in my classrooms, we call them a happy accident. There really is no mistake when you're making art. Um, it's a learning experience. So, um, and it creates dialogue, it creates excitement, it creates tension, it, it, it creates all kinds of emotions that we all get to experience and support one another in. Because when you're making art, the process really is just as important as the product. In, in fact, maybe more important. Expression becomes, becomes a way to have yourself heard without using words. And, you know, some people are more articulate than others and can communicate themselves better than others, and art can provide that, um, that opportunity. Um, I think everybody needs a creative outlet. And when I hear somebody say to me, well, I can't draw a straight line, or I don't know how to paint, that's really not important. Because if you let yourself, you'll find that it can be a really fun and pleasant experience. You know, um, whether or not you, you think you want to make a living doing this, that's really not important. Having the opportunity to express yourself is important. And um, uh, as, as an artist, creatively, is um, is the most important thing to me in my class. You've got to learn how how to manage with the results you're getting in the time that it's taking. Um, so it you know it teaches frustration tolerance. It 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 um, teaches how it teaches structure and creative problem solving and well, having a positive experience in in the art room can improve your self-esteem and your self-confidence and your willingness to take appropriate risks. Um, also teaches one how to be creative in a problem-solving manner because, you know, whether you are faced with uh, the assignment of, um, of, of painting from a still life or doing a self-portrait or a landscape. Uh, there's all different kinds of ways to approach the task, and everybody has an individual way of doing it. Um, my way is going to be different than yours. It's like our signatures. And no one's is better than the other. They're all individual, and um, that's what we value. In there. So, um, so we're talking about composition and, and balance and um, creativity. And who doesn't need that in their lives? <laughs> and there's room for all of it. There's room for everybody's experience, everybody's interpretation. Right. And it's fun. I, I mean, what I learned is the only limitations, really, is, is, is your own imagination. You know, a lot of times when people are feeling a, a little depressed in their lives, it's because they've lost a creative outlet and because they feel like they're not connected to other people or to the environment. Uh, and I know that that can, be, that can be a struggle for many of our CIP students. Yeah. Um, CIP students are, have a lot of similarities to other students that I taught because those students had social and emotional difficulties too. Also very, very bright, but had difficulty fitting in felt disconnected from their families and other people, and were just taking a different path in life. And I, I find that the, the CIP, CIP students that I'm, that I'm working with have those similar qualities. They're, they're all uniquely individual, um, which you'll see in their artwork. Um, just like any of us, they share the same frustrations, the same 
hurts, the same hopes and aspirations. Um, so that's how I came to CIP. I've, I've been there now. This will be my second year coming, helping to uh, develop an art program for those students who, again, in this program are quite creative and want to challenge themselves that way. Some students are, are harder to get started. Some students are really so hard on themselves that they're, they're, they have difficulty finishing a project that they start. Um, and I have some students who, who just want to create all the time. In, in one class, they'll make several things. But when I think about, when I think about the CIP students I have now, Honestly, they're not that different from from other adolescents or young adults that I've that I've taught before. So they're enthusiastic learners for certain, and they want to please people. Maybe that's a little different from other <laughs> adolescents that I've taught. They do. They they and they want to be normal. And what what is that? I mean, normal is is different for every individual. They're. You know, their experience harkens back to many adolescents I've worked with, trying to fit in, trying on different hats, you know, trying to, to figure out where they belong in the world and how to be a productive member of society. They all want to do that. Yeah, they all do. I bring all kinds of books from home to help, to help inspire their imaginations and, um, and lead to creativity. Um, I, in fall, will be providing a printmaking class, um, which I understand we've never had before, and I will take it step by step from very simple, basic, everyone will have a positive, um, everybody will have a, a positive result from it, to, to things that get a little more complicated. And with every art project I do, I, I start with that very, um, very structure and guidance so that there's an understanding of where we're going and, and that builds trust, trust and confidence in, in the process too. So I'm really excited about that, excited about the printmaking. Um, and you know, there's always painting. <laughs> That's always going to happen as long as, as I um, am teaching. Yeah, now. yeah the structure is going to provide um, trust and confidence in the idea that they're going to be able to do this and do it well and have fun. Yeah, we can work on projects together. We sometimes will pass a picture around. Everybody will contribute to it. We laugh. We talk about what we see. I want people to come to the classroom ready, ready to be expressive and leave my classroom feeling good about what they did. Like art as therapy. Yeah.